So I think I'm actually going to try to vlog this week. I've got a couple of really exciting things coming up and maybe it'll be something fun to share. Also working on, uh, well Jay and I have been doing some renovation to our porch. We have like a screened porch in the back of the house where I sit off in and overlook the backyard, listen to the birds and um, we had to replace the screens and we wanted to replace some of the wood but the price of lumber is nutty so we didn't do that so he reshingled the siding because the screen porch is on the back of the existing house and when that roof was added many many years ago onto the landing of the porch the siding was ripped down and was never replaced so Jay replaced the siding we painted it and it's stained just dark brown like the house I know not very popular but had we done what we wanted to do this year we would have done like a barn board finishing we would have done um, some sort of new new uh, ceiling in there but we didn't do any of that mainly because of COVID and the price of lumber and supplies that you can't get so we didn't do any of it but we've been working really <laughs> really all week on that and uh, I had to empty everything out in the screen porch and pile it all in the kitchen so I had to put it on the floor in the kitchen and so walking through the kitchen was like crazy because of that but um, yeah so I'm thinking this week I'm thinking I'm gonna have some interesting things to share I hope so um, stay oh the other thing that I'm doing is um, Jay's gonna work on a like a website for me sort of like a blog site where I can list some of the wigs that I have for sale I'm going to do a, a huge sale on some of my wigs they're gonna be very very affordable um, I'm gonna sell a lot of them off very very affordable like I said so I'm really excited about that I don't know how long it'll take him to do it but I'm hoping he gets it done soon so anyways stay tuned and I'll share some of my week with you guys I hope I hope I don't chicken out and not do this but I get a good start so I'm kind of like um, a little bit well a lot excited I'm going um, uh, I'm going to go out on a boat ride so I'm hoping the wind does not kick up because it could get pretty nasty out there although if it's really windy I'm sure we won't go out in the ocean we'll probably just stay in the river but that's what I'm doing I'm heading out to a three-hour cruise oh well <laughs> I don't know. so I'm trying to debate which hat to wear I mean this kind of matches this so but I also love my my um South Carolina white hat and then I have a plain one so it's it's just that it's gonna be so windy and my hair is gonna be like all over the place so if I figure if I wear a visor it'll keep the Sun off my face and it'll keep my hair from looking horrible which is really the main thing I think I'm gonna wear this one I think it's kind of cute I have my jean jacket you know it's the distressed jean jacket so that's the thing I'm gonna do what do you think so I think this is when I'm going to wear this hat and um, these pink earrings. Now I'm going to bring my, I think I'm going to bring my white visor um, just in case my girlfriend thinks I look too froofy. You know, I don't want to look froofy. Or maybe I do. So we made it up in time. The boat shoved off right about 7.15. And we made our way out the river, the Pisaquatica. I always say that wrong, Tequa. Someone I'm sure will correct me. And oftentimes, you never know, the river can be just really rough. And sometimes you just end up going down the river and then you turn around and go right back up the river because it's just too rough out in the mouth. But this trip, as you can see here, even though it was breezy, the water was flat it was amazing we went all the way out to whaleback lighthouse this marker means a lot to me something very special for those of you that know me you know why that means a lot to me but we went out past the markers and then we made the turn back in and this is us heading in down to um towards the bridge and i tell you when you when you're sailing back into the city at sunset like this I think it is just totally amazing. 
to watch and just to see the boat traffic and the people, the the houses, the apartments, the condos, I should say, are all lit up. And there are all these dockside restaurants that people go to. It's just a, a beautiful life lifestyle in the culture. Fabulous. There's theater. There's tons of restaurants. There's so much to do and see and experience in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's one of my favorite cities in New Hampshire. I love going to Portsmouth. I love going out on the river. I dream to own one of these condos one year. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I still dream to own one of them. It was an amazing night. The crew from the office, it was so wonderful to see all of our office mates. Again, we haven't seen them in person in quite a while. It's just really fabulous. This was the 21st annual Hampton Beach Sand Sculpting Classic. And they did miss last year due to COVID, but this happens every June. And sometimes there's more and sometimes there's a little less, but this year there were 10, as they call them, a world-class master scan sculptors who came. They had over $25,000 in prizes and they dropped the sand down. They had a few days to create their sculptures. And I'll tell you, even though we went up on a Friday night and they were not yet finished, these folks had all day Saturday to still work on their work of arts. It was amazing. Saturday night was the finale, basically, where the judging happened. And we went Friday night. So at this point in time, I don't know who won. Uh, we didn't go back on Saturday night because we never do. It's always too totally crazy. Sometimes we go back after the event is over, but this year, I just wanted you to see this is just amazing, amazing works of art. I'm really curious to see who's going to be the winner. So it's Father's Day. Joseph, who's all blowing out because of the sun, and I are going out to an early dinner right yep. we're going to lakeside in Kingston and we're hoping we get a water side table it's a little waterfront restaurant or at least it overlooks the water so it's really kind of cool and it's seafood so it's right down the street and we're going for a very very early so you know what I wanted to tell you do you know who won first place at the Hampton Beach seafood Sorry. I mean sandcastles Sorry. do you remember the face uh, with the two, with the two, like almost where the tears were, but it was open and there was nothing inside. Yeah. That was first place. It's right. called Empty, yeah. and I believe it's from a sand sculpture artist from Canada. I kind of thought that that might win something for origin. Not a, I don't know if it was originality, but I liked it when I first saw it because it was number ten. Yes, it was number 10 and I'm going to I'm going to superimpose a photo because um, I'm going to add this to the end of my vlog um, that I have going, but it but was I number like, 10. I also like number 1. I thought so many of them. They, I had like about 4 of them that I thought were really good. I like the poker face guy. Yeah. I thought the detail on him was really good and then the old man with the beer can. Yeah, that, scratching that was my his favorite. head. That was my <laughs> I thought favorite. that was really cool. And then the the um, 
Oh, was it like a mermaid? It was a woman. It was a naked woman, or not naked, but partially. She had boobies. She had boobies. Um, with and I thought that one was really good. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of them that were really good, and so the empty one. I think I think what is what was really so cool about that is that everyone could have their own interpretation as to what it means. Yeah. You know, like I look at it and I think a certain thing, and you might look at it and you might think a certain thing. So I hope I have a picture of it. If not, did you take a picture of it? Oh yeah, I got a picture. Okay, good, because I, I I know I have it on a video clip, but it's just a short little. Yeah, I just little... thought of it as tears, and it was you know it was on both sides, don't you? Yeah, yeah, front and back. Yes, I didn't see the back side, so. Um, Same the front. <laughs> Same as the front. <laughs> Empty. But yeah, you could, there was nothing inside there, I guess, right? I mean, it was just sort of To like, me, it was empty tears or tears or something like that. Empty tears, yeah. I, I, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And it was one of those, I think, that's thought-provoking as to what the heck it was. I don't know who came in second and third. I'll look that up, so by the time this um, gets published, I'll be able to add that into it. Sure. But I thought that was really cool. So happy Father's Day, baby. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and so Jay got for Father's Day, and for his birthday, and for Christmas. He got a gift from his son Justin and daughter-in-law Tamara, and it is a drone. Yeah, DJ, DJI Mini 2 drone. So he's been trying to teach himself how to I was going to say drive it, but really fly it. Fly it, yeah. <laughs> fly it. So um, he's been trying to do that in his spare time, which he, I know he wishes he had a little bit more time to learn it better, but he's, you're getting there, right? Yeah. You still have a lot to learn, but you're getting there. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was his, his birthday, Father's Day, and Christmas combo gift, and he absolutely loves it. This morning he went golfing. I recorded some videos, and now we're doing lunch. Yeah. Dinner. Dinner dinner. I'll take a couple of pictures if I can um, at Lakeside and uh, then I'll enclose the first place and if we have pictures of second and third which I I did mostly videos I really don't have any stills so oh, I'll enclose them at the end stills of them all, so. that'd be cool that'd be cool alrighty later guys bye-bye or bye-bye I don't know if I'm gonna this might be the end of the vlog and if it is I'll say bye-bye thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Smash the thumbs up. Smash, Smash the like button, baby. Smash the like button. Leave me a comment. Not a hateful one. Nah, <laughs> uh, you're gonna have haters. I get enough haters. <laughs> bye, guys. Say bye-bye, honey. Bye-bye.